guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we are taking down two of my favourite side quests. We're going to be looking for fun, finishing off giant problems, and we're also going to be helping Penny uh, in the side quest Penny for Your Thoughts. Now this is one of the probably most meaningful side quests I think we've encountered so far, and really like, you know, I actually tugged on the heartstrings a little bit. Uh, so let's get into this. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. So first we are in the library looking for Fang with the help of Bill. Bill's going to help us hopefully find Fang in the library. It's the last one that we need to do before we finally speak to Hagrid or hopefully find it. Just because I got a head start on Rowan, it's only a matter of time before he surpasses me. Where do you think we should start? Hmm. You should probably ask around and check under the tables. I'll walk down each aisle and make my way toward the restricted section. Where only prefects can go. <sighs> right, so looking for Fang. Let's examine this banister because he is. These these looking around like. It's not doing much looking around, and checking the spines of books. How is that going to help me find Fang? <laughs> He's not going to be in the spine of a book. Baffling. Bill's doing the same thing. Together we've got it covered. Success. Did we find Fang? Mm. Sorry, Shani. I don't think there's a, no sign. Of, there's no sign of Fang. We should ask Man and Pince. My approach to Man and Pince in Professor Snape is to never ask either of them anything. Safer that way. Besides, if Man and Pince saw a dog in the library, you'd have her screaming from the other side of the castle. Well, thanks for your help, Bill. But I don't know, I'll better keep searching. Good luck, Shani. I'm going to warn the first year over there about sneaking sweets into the library. Prefect's work is never done. Prefect, by the way. I'm the prefect. Meet me in the free broomstick, shiny. So all this search is we haven't found Fang in all the locations that he asked us to look for. So if he's found it, that'd be quite annoying because it makes all those searches a waste of time. You're supposed to be here. I'll be checking with your house of it. Alright, Chiny, you're here. You're in a much better mood than last time I saw you. I found Fang. Actually, me friend Aragog found him. I'm nice enough to send him back towards me instead of eating him. Oh, that was nice of him. Where's Fang now, by the way? Because soaking up a well-deserved nap. Who knows what he got up to in the Forbidden Forest. Huh. Still don't know hardly anything about the Forbidden, for forbidden Forest. Have a seat and I'll tell you everything I know over a bugger. It's the least I can do for all your help, even though you didn't find him, and I found him. Let's have some butterbeer with Hagrid. Did you know Forbidden Forest is home to centaurs, unicorns, and other wonderful creatures? Look at this woman! She has invisible heels. <laughs> How is she standing on her tiptoes like that for so long? What is going on? I think the more likely is she's got an invisibility cloak over her heels of those shoes. Yeah. More than a few students have gone missing in the, the uh, Forbidden Forest. I met my friend Aragog when I was a student. You don't get out much though. Success! We've completed it. We only got... <laughs> We've all had that happen to us, right? You're like a bit away from it. And luckily I only needed one star. The Forbidden Forest sounds incredible. You should probably have said most of that, but I owe you for all your help. Will you take me to the Forbidden Forest? Mm, absolutely not. It's too dangerous. Mm. Well, I would like to have you come over to me hut for a visit. I quite like fancy myself the cook, if I see so myself. What do you think? Yes. Thanks, Hagrid. That would actually be lovely. We're going to get to go to Hagrid's hut next year. Glad to hear it. I need to get a bit done. I need to do a bit of cleaning first, but I'll send an owl when I'm ready to have you over. That's for helping me with Fang again. Showing you we're both lucky to have you. Didn't do anything. Once again. I literally could have gone away and done nothing, come back, and he'd be like, oh, thank you so much for your help, Shoini. You helped me out so much. I'm going Irish now. It's very hard to do bistro sometimes. Right, and now to the second subquest. Penny, for your thoughts. Hey, Penny, are you feeling better? I'll admit I was a bit shaken after seeing that werewolf, Bogus, in Herbology, but I'm better now I know it wasn't real. Do you want to talk about it? I'd rather talk about you. All of Hogwarts is talking about you after what happened to the Cursed Vaults. 
Do you like having so much attention? No. This attention makes it harder for me to search for the next vault. Everyone's like on high alert. It must be tough being the most popular student at Hogwarts. There's so much to catch up on. Can we talk over a meal? Uh, yes. Is this a date? What would you like to talk about? With all we've been through at Hogwarts, I'd like to get to know each other better. Don't you think so? Yes. Let's get to know each other a little bit better, Penny. So, we're going to get rewards to our friendship level. Got the recommended attributes. We've never really talked outside about our lives outside of Hogwarts, Shani. I don't talk about my home life. Oh no, she's saying that. <laughs> don't feel pressured. You know, I'm trying not to put pressure on. Saying but green would have been you. You could talk to me. I suck at these. What would you like to know? Um, where are you from? That sounds like the best. Yes, finally, we get a green. It made Penny feel better. Right, so we passed the first diamond. I want to tell you everything, but I'm not sure I should. Go ahead, Penny. You, you can trust me. I wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm from London. What? Rowan grew up in London. Rowan didn't grow up in London. Why did I select that option? <laughs> Rowan grew up on Carna Farms, which I'm imagining is not in London. Oops. I have a little sister. Are you muggle-born like Ben? What else can you tell me? I don't have any si Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I don't have any siblings. Failed. Minus one. We're still getting there. I'm glad we're friends, Shiny, but I haven't shared this much about myself with anyone. Just keep talking, Penny. Your secrets are safe with me. Because I'm your future husband. I'm half-blood. Thanks for opening up to me. Better not tell you know who. <laughs> would have not been the right option right that is it we've got three diamonds thanks for listening shiny you're such a good friend no worries so how much do we get for a task still level one? Oh, we get 10 50 50 in one go level two you improved your friendship nice so you're a half blood witch you grew up in london you have a little sister beatrice is her name beatrice right it sounds like it seems like I'm learning more about you than you're learning about me though. Do you trust me, Shiny? Of course. You're Penny. <laughs> I need you to do me a favour, but I can't exactly say what it is yet. Just wait for my owl. I'll wait. I'll wait for you, Penny. Right, so off we go to meet Penny. Penny, what are you doing down here so late? Shh. Prefects will hear you. You learned Petrificus Totalis, right? Now it's time to put that spell to good use. On a prefect. Guess it, before he sees us. Mm. No. Cast the spell, think it over. <sighs> no, I'm not doing it. No, Penny, that's wrong. I was afraid you'd say that, so I learned the spell myself. Why don't you just cast it in the first place then? Petrificus Totalis. Brilliant. Now let's hurry into the potions classroom so we can start the next phase of my plan. Plan? What plan? Ooh, Penny Gatlands. Right, it's time to talk to Penny to find out what she wants her help with. Penny, what in the world is going on? What are you doing? I don't understand why you le bothered learning Petrificus Totalis if you weren't going to use it. I need you to help me steal some Lethe river water. Lethe? Leth. From potions. You're stealing from Snape. I literally can't imagine the wor a worse person to steal from. Please, Shiny. I wouldn't take it if it wasn't important. Okay, I'll help you. Let's check all of these containers. One star. That is the way to complete a task. Saving energy. Aha! Lethe river water. I found it. What do you need it for? Brewing a potion, obviously. What potion, though? All I can tell you is I need you to bring me Valerian sprigs you grew from herbology class. 
Once I've made the final preparations, I'll send you an owl. To wait three hours for this though. Right, it's time for my favorite part of the game yet. Right, so now to complete the final part of this side quest. My favorite part, it's definitely my favorite part in the game of choices, just because it's so, I don't know, real. Um, good, you're here. I was about to ask Peas to look for you. You have two drops of Lethe River water, two Valerian Sprigs, and two measures of standard ingredient, and four mistletoe berries. Do you know what potion we're making? Right, so I thought mistletoe, right? Love potion. Maybe she just brought that as a side bar, just a just sneaky kiss. I went for a love potion. Did you get it right? Because it's wrong. Like all mententia. Who would I use that on? Me. <laughs> I need your help to help me brew a for perfect forgetfulness potion. To erase parts of someone's memory. Who are you going to use that on? Don't worry, I won't use this on you. Not that you'd remember if I did. Let's get started. I'll walk you through it. Okay, I'll do it. Just because it's you, Penny. I'm just... At this point I'm thinking like, who needs to forget something? Or who do we need to make forget something? The potion changed color, it's working. Final part, now we've got a bit more energy back. Complete. We have now successfully learned forgetfulness potion and created one for Penny. Good work, Shiny. This forgetfulness potion is perfect. Will you tell me what you're finally going to do with it? Please, Penny. Tell me. I'm going to drink it. What? Why? Remember how my boggart took the form of a werewolf? It wasn't just any werewolf. Every summer my family spends time in the country and I had a friend up there, a muggle. Her name was Scarlet. Last year we went for a walk one night and saw a werewolf. Scarlet was fascinated and wanted to see where it was going. I had my wand but when it noticed us, I froze. By the time I had the courage to do anything, it was too late for Scarlet. She's dead because of me. It hurts to remember it, Shiny. I want to forget. I did not expect that. Do you think that's a good idea, Penny? I'm not sure what to think anymore. Here goes. Should I drink the forgetfulness potion? Yes or no? So this for me was like, uh, this was like a, a, the realest decision to make. Like, okay, genuinely you could forget about it. Now, when you're working with trauma, you wanna help the person to remember it. In that process, they process the emotion and it can process into memory. That's why people get flashbacks, PTSD. So, but there's also that fact of like I think suffering is a part of life and it's one that I think most people wouldn't choose to forget somebody even if it meant suffering and I believe that like through some of the suffering if you can get through it you can become stronger as a result of it so I chose no no you shouldn't drink the forgetfulness potion. What would you have chosen? Seriously, like, let me know. And if you did choose something different, what happened? Forgetting won't change anything. What if you forget more than you intend to? What if you forget yourself? Would that happen? Are you willing to take the risk? Our memories make us who you are and they make you stronger. As he said this, right, literally I was thinking that at the exact moment and then it was like, what? Scarlet would want you to remember her. That was the other thing that I was thinking. Shani, you're right. Okay, thank you. What happens if you say yes? And then this next bit, to put the volume on for this. I won't forget what you did for me, Shani. Helping others is its own reward. <gasps> Helping others is its own reward. Wise words from Dumbledore. First 
voice actor, voice over I've heard of Michael Gambon and it took me by surprise so much I did not expect it and it was so cool. That for me was one of the most real scenes that we've actually had in the series so far and then to have Dumbledore he did exactly what I thought it would do which is just make the experience feel a little bit more real with that authenticity. Yes. So next we go into chapter 5 where we will be finding Tulip Karasu and seeking her help with the cursed bolt potentially. Okay, well that's all for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information. Let me know in this one in the comment section below what you thought of this quest. Definitely if you chose the yes, let me know what actually happened. Did Penny forget herself? And just I'll pin that to the comment section for sure. Okay, that's all for this one. See you soon.